Hey guys, this is Webpeak. Today I want to show you my solution for the third problem in the India MO. So let's go through the problem together. We are given two distinct positive integers m and n, and the statement is to prove that the following sum of GCDs, the greatest common divisors between m and n, and other terms is smaller than 2 times the difference between m and n plus 1. And furthermore, we are asked to determine when does the equality holds. The problem is not difficult. We can solve it by uh, applying simple manipulations on the GCDs. So let's see how we handle it. So let's start assuming that m is uh, strictly larger than n. Then we can write down the GCD between m and n is equal to the GCD between m and m minus n. In particular, this number derives m minus n. Similarly, we can write the other terms in the same way that the GCD between m plus 1 and m plus 1 is equal to the GCD between m plus 1 and m minus n, and in particular this device m minus n as well, and the same thing for m plus 2. So now we notice that all these terms device m minus n, and in the most of the cases they are strictly smaller than m minus n. So this is the first case we consider that uh, none of these terms is equal to m minus n. So in particular, since they all divide m minus n, they are smaller or equals to m minus n divided 2. And this gives immediately the inequality because uh, the sum is smaller than 3 times uh, uh, m minus n divided 2, which is strictly smaller than 2 times m minus n plus 1. So in this case, the inequality is strict. Now let's consider the case that one of these terms equals to m minus n. Let's start with the first one, that we assume uh, the GCD between m and m minus n is equals to m minus n. And this is equivalent to say that uh, m minus n divides m. So now we can simplify the other terms, in particular the GCD between m minus, uh, plus 1 and m minus n is equal to 1, because m is divided by m minus n. And the same thing happens for the second term that the GCD between m plus 2 and m minus n is equal to the GCD between 2 and m minus n, which is smaller than the minimum of 2m m minus n, which is smaller than m minus n. So if we sum up these uh, inequalities, we immediately derive the uh, desired inequality. And in particular, the equality holds if and only if the second inequality holds, which means that m minus n divides 2. And this gives two cases. One is m minus n is equals to 1, and we can easily check that this case always works. And the second case is m minus n equals to 2, and in this case we need 2 divides m. Now it remains to investigate the other cases, which uh, are basically the same as previously. So let's assume that the second term now is equals to m minus n and which means m minus n divides m plus 1. And this immediately gives us that the first and the third terms are all equals to 1, because uh, m is uh, co-prime with m plus 1, and m plus 1 is co-prime with m plus 2 as well. Now, if we sum up, uh, we uh, obviously get the uh, uh, inequality holes, and uh, in particular, the equality holds if and only if m minus n equals to 1. 
Then now we only have one case left, and which is the third term equals to m minus n. And we remark that uh, using the same argument, this is exactly the same as the first case. So, well, basically we are done. Now let's summarize our result. So we have proved that for all cases, this inequality holds. And uh, also we saw that the equality holds if and only if the difference between m and n is equal to 1 or 2. Now we mind that uh, previously we have assumed m is larger than n, but it is also possible that m is smaller than n. So indeed, the only difference is that we add an absolute value between the difference on m and n. And the conditions are as follows. So, hope you enjoy the video. Well, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you, bye bye.